friends, and welcome back to Rustic Ridge Farms. I'm your host, Hillhelm, and we are playing Stardew Valley. It is Sunday, which means we can learn to cook the Queen of Sauce. It is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new a mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, Stir Fry! A perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. That would clear out your sinuses pretty well, I think. You learned how to make stir fry. Fabulous. How's our day going to go? Ooh. The spirits are in a good humor. A little extra luck. Weather for tomorrow. Partly cloudy. Lots of pollen. Cool. Uh, now it is time to harvest everything. Uh, so, in looking at some comments and talking to some folks on... Oops. Wrong one. Uh, talking to some folks on the Dole Discord there, some of the subscribers, it, it has become apparent that we missed out on the community center because we did not enter town through the appropriate entrance... Uh, apparently you have to enter uh, through the bus stop. And if you do not enter the town through the bus stop, then you don't get the cutscene. And if you don't get the cutscene, obviously you cannot get into the community center. So here we are. Unable still to get to the community center and find out what in the world is going on. It also means, as we slowly miss where we're trying to aim with our watering can... <laughs> Uh, that we have not been able to visit the wizard and without visiting the wizard to interpret the scroll and to allow us to learn the forest magic of the Junimos. We still have no idea what the heck's going on with any of the bundles, which means I can't uh, really sell a lot of things or <laughs> know what I need more of or anything. So we're a little behind is what I'm trying to say. Wow, we just watered that plant like three times because I am not always great at watering apparently so we have got to get that done today we have got to get that community center cutscene in and ready and going uh, it also means that the next day we're going to have to get over to the wizard because he will send us a little notice and say hey come and see me and I'll be like alright cool man let's go do this I uh, do also use a little bit more seeds there. We'll probably just get potatoes. How many spots is that? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alrighty. I could have just counted those. Did I do that? Nope. <laughs> could have, though. Could have. Alright. Uh, do we sell some of these maybe we do let's let's bring them with us we'll just sell we'll just sell those potatoes uh you know i wonder let's see if we can get some seeds here hello any seeds in the trees hello hello i like a seed hello nothing okay well we got a leak that's nice i suppose leaks are good oh and here we go another little piece of forage foraging always Helpful. And here's the cutscene. Oh, Mayor Lewis is so concerned. Oh, hi there, he says. Let me get a drink real fast. Oh, that's better. What an eyesore. It is pretty run down. It's, it's not... It's not uh, a lie. It, it is pretty dilapidated. Well, this is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it, anyway. Yeah. It used to be the pride and joy of the town. Always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Joja Corporation's been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh, well. 
If anyone else buys a Joja Corporation membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. <sighs> Here, let's go inside. All right. Let's do that, Lewis. Let's go inside. And here we are inside. The wind blowing in here always reminds me of Final Fantasy VI. Uh, like in the mines at uh, at Narsh and like the beginning of the game when you're walking through the snow and stuff. Anyway. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. But the door was locked, Vincent. How's that going to work? This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. <laughs> yes. Wow, look, there's a thing. What? Huh. Nothing. What's the matter? Are you ill? Uh, I, I don't I don't think so. But there was a thing there. I saw it. Oh, the narrowing of the eyeballs. You saw something? Mmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place is full of rats. <laughs> there it is again! That jump, uh, the way that the it, the arms and legs spread out to, reminds me of Chrono Trigger every time I see it also. You're worrying me, Hill. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Dude, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning, bro. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Well, by gosh and golly, maybe we can. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore the building later. Okay. How about right now? Do, 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 do. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, 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 walk. And a bunch of things we can't understand. Fabulous. All right. <laughs> Onwards, my friends. Uh, do we go fishing? Hmm, maybe. Oh, hello, hello, hello. I saw you. I saw you there, flower. It it took a minute to register in my brain that that's what I was seeing, but I saw you. It is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Welcome. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's just buy 11 more potato seeds, all right? And we'll scroll all the way to the bottom, and then... We'll sell these. Look, we've made money. Fabulous. How much is this? Two thousand. Okay. Two a thousand dollars. Guess how much money we do not have. That's right. Two thousand dollars. Good job guessing. Okay, real fast. Let's go check the beach. Maybe there's a little forage that we can grab. Ooh, there is some. We need 300 wood for that bridge. I always struggle to decide when to do the bridge. Because for the most part, uh, it's not really super helpful immediately. Uh, there is some nice forage over there, but you have to walk all the way down to the ocean whenever you want to go do it. Hey, Lee, good morning. My sister's so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. I, you know, I think most siblings wonder that at some point. You know? Nothing from the trash cans. That, That's a bummer. A dog growling at me. Winston, are you growling at me? <laughs> he probably was just now. He probably wants to come and sit on the back of my chair, which is his normal spot during the morning. But, um... He's not going to be able to get up there right now. <laughs> oh, look! Onions. Hooray! Why can't I pick up that onion? Alright, look. Let's just eat the onion. Was this a silver onion? It was. Let's eat that one, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very, very good. Alright. Is there anything else down here we can forage? Does this actually get me seeds? I don't know. Maybe. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, 
Nope, didn't seem to work out at all. That is a real shame. That is a real shame. Oh, it's a Leia. Good morning, Leia. If you hear any banging from inside my hut, it's probably just me working at one of my sculptures. Okay. That's cool. You got no problems with that? Ooh, even more forage. Yes! Get that foraging level increased. Actually, probably one of the best ways to, to do that is to break these. These hardwood uh, stumps and such are a fabulous way to erase your foraging level. Chopping down trees also is good. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, all right, so I'm not getting anything from shaking the trees. I guess I'll just have to cut some down. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's what we do today. We chop down some trees. All right, let's sell these clamshells. I do not have an immediate use for them, and I could use a little more money, so. Do, do, do. Watch that be like something that the game is now like, hey, this is now in a new special remixed bundle that you didn't know about. <laughs> like, thanks, game. I appreciate <laughs> that you have done that to me. That would... I would laugh, actually, if that was the case. I really would. Alright, it is 2.30. Let's poke around. Let's grab my axe. And my axe. Uh, I don't think we'll go to the mine. But... Maybe we should grab the pickaxe. And just try to clear out also some of this stuff on the ground. Yeah, let's just grab all this stuff. And uh, we will we will do a little a little spring cleaning. Oh, we got some coal. I like it. Uh, hey, what do you guys think for the cave? Should we go mushrooms, or should uh, should we go for the fruit bats? I will say I don't think I've ever gone for the bats because uh, the mushroom cave is just more helpful. <laughs> I don't. It's just me. I feel like that's the consensus among Stardew Valley players, though. Okay, let's just poke around real fast. Is there any other... Ooh, there's a little worm. Yes! A book of knowledge! Oh, yeah. The library has expanded. Uh, but yeah, I feel like most people, when they play, go for the mushrooms. Uh, just a sense that I get. Okay. So there's nothing else up here. Um, I mean, I may have missed something, but I didn't... If I did, I didn't see it. So if you saw it, and I didn't see it, good job. Good job. We'll just call it a shame that I missed it. <laughs> and we'll move on with our day. Okay, so where do we not need trees? Uh, well, we don't need one here. That's for sure. Let's finish clearing this out uh, up, up top here. And um, we'll clear out some stuff on the next level down, too. Okay, kind of, now that you can move the greenhouse, uh, life gets interesting. Um, do I need this fiber? I would like that fiber. Let's go put the fiber away. And the coal. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Put that fiber away. Uh, now that you can move the greenhouse, though, maybe I might move it all the way back up against this wall. Just to save on a little bit of space. But yeah, I'm not really sure where to put things on this farm. Uh, as I mentioned a couple of videos ago, I really, I really just don't know where to put things. On the farm. Uh, let's, since we're not going to be watering anything, here's what we'll do. Or fishing, right now. Let's just go put those away. We are wasting a little bit of time here, but I was talking about things, so... Sometimes you forget. Oh no, we'll bring that. Uh, let's put this away. There we go. Yeah, anyway, like I was saying, uh, I don't really know where to put things on this farm, you know, in terms of like, uh, where's a good spot for your coop? Where's a good spot for 
Ooh, mix seeds. Uh, where's a good spot for anything? I I just don't know. How do we just never have room for things? You know? Uh, Stardew, please. Alright, we're gonna plant our seeds. Does it matter if we water them today? I don't know. Look, if we remember to water them at the end of the day, we do. And if we don't, we don't. And then, you know, we've only lost a day. It's day seven. We haven't really lost out on that much, you know? Okay. Let's just try to clear this out right through here. Ugh. Of course we wouldn't be able to pick up the seed, the, uh, the pine cone seed thing. Of course. It just shows how desperately we need to get to $2,000. That's all. <laughs> so that uh, you, we can actually hold items in our inventory. So is that the current plan? To just try to save up? It might be. Oh, and the game is like... You are running low on energy. Yes, I am. You're not wrong. Let's uh, let's eat some onions. It's only eight o'clock. We can chop down plenty more trees still. As soon as we drop off a few things into the chest, so that we have enough room to actually pick up some of the things that we're trying to uh, take care of down there. We'll go down to ten onions. I think that'll give us enough to chop down a few more trees. All right, one more. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Then we can put the onions back in the in the chest as well. There we are. All right. Back to chopping things down and also picking up these pine cones back here. I didn't forget about them. Never you fear, friends. Never you fear. You may have thought I had forgotten, but no. I remembered. This time. <laughs> don't expect it to be a regular occurrence. There may be times I don't remember. I love it when the butterflies come out of the tree, but on the other hand, I don't like it, because then I feel bad for chopping down a tree. <laughs> like, really? But now I feel terrible. All the... all They don't have a place to live anymore. We took away their home. It's so sad. So yeah, if, uh, some of you have played this farm. Where do you put your items? Where do you put your coop? Where do you put your barn? Or your shed? And where do you put anything? It's it's such a broken up area. I just I am not sure where to do any of that at. All right, this is probably going to be our last tree for the day because we are low on energy now. All right. Let's break a couple more rocks. There we go. And then we do have two more things to water, don't we? There's a big stump there I can't do anything about. Let's drop off our items. Drop off, drop off, drop off, drop off. Oh, 150 wood, though. That's... That wasn't bad. All right. Do we... Put some of our tools back away? Well, we probably don't need that for the next day right away. I don't think I'll need the pickaxe right away. Or that, okay. We do have to go see the wizard. Uh, so, you know, maybe we do bring that with us. Yeah, you know, I guess we'll just bring all the tools because I'm not sure what's broken, what needs to be broken on the way to the wizard or not. I just don't know. And now, for sleep. Ah, uh, glorious, glorious, glorious. We have leveled our foraging to level two. Very good. The survival burger we can now make. Oh, and our mining has also leveled up. We can make staircases. Staircases are super exciting. Uh, when you really, really need to get down a floor and have a hundred stone to spare. Well, 99, but whatever. Uh, it's, uh, it's helpful. It's helpful. All right, let's check the old TV. Living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. Actually, before we read this, hang on. Let's go. Yeah, we'll do it from the side. Now you can see the picture. <laughs> Here we are. 
Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down after a while, but stone, iron, and hardwood last a lot longer than basic wood. And when you get married, sometimes your spouse uh, fixes them for you, which is, you know, it's kind of nice. Here we are. A letter from the wizard. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? No problem. I'm not sure what else we're going to get done today. Uh, we have to water all of our stuff, which will take not only most of our energy, but also most of the morning. And then uh, we have to walk all the way over to the wizard's tower, talk to him, go through the event chain, and then walk all the way back into town to the community center. It's, it's going to be a lot to ask, you know? It's going to be a lot to ask. That is a lot of moving and walking for one day of Stardew Valley. Especially without coffee. Now, if we had coffee, or even better, espresso, then, uh, you know, by, by all means, it would be no problem. However, we don't have that. Uh, so we need a thousand gold to build a well. one right up here actually I don't know if it'd be useful or not but we could now is this gonna be a three watering can situation now is that is that what we've gotten ourselves into probably that sounds right we'll find out it's gonna be close we got to skip out on watering those other two spots so we'll see Uh, it will help if I don't miss water things, and so far I've been doing pretty good today. Almost inevitably, though, uh, I will miss. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So we do have some parsnips with us. Uh, maybe what we should do... Let's, let's see what else we have in here. Let's bring one of you, one of you, one of you, and one of you... We'll bring these guys. We'll bring some spring onions, too. And that's what we'll take with us for our inaugural journey over to the community center. Yes. Okay, and I think we should safely be able to drop off a couple of our other tools. Yeah, let's ignore any any rocks that we find for now. What else was I going to bring? We could bring fish. We could bring some fish. We're going to have to make more than one trip for the fish, though. Okay, let's... Never mind. Let's ignore the fish. Let's pretend that that never happened. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's right. We can't go that way yet. I... Yeah, the one thing on this farm that has irritated me is that... It's very difficult to walk around, and I would appreciate it without those items blocking all of my pathways. That would be great, wouldn't it? Don't you think so? I feel like that's the one thing I'm looking forward to most currently on this farm, is the day when we can clear that out of the way and we can <laughs> just walk freely around our own property. It would be so nice. Oh, there we go. We got a gold-starred horseradish now. Hello, wizard friend. Ah, come in, says the wizard. Well, hello. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred... Well, you get the point. I love that initial speech. And you, Hill, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Ooh, long foreseen, he says. Here, I'd like to show you something. Okay. Snap. Behold! A Junimo. Probably not very excited for being captured. Uh, not gonna lie. You've seen one before, haven't you? Yes. Yes, I have. They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones, for some reason. They refuse to speak with me. 
Well, maybe because you capture them in your little circle. I'm not sure why they've moved to the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Oh, and now we tell them about the symbol on the floor. Hmm? You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to go see for myself. I will return shortly. Wow. <laughs> Good times. Oh, I did say shortly. I found the note. <laughs> Great. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. Okay. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Oh. I see. Hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? Sniff. Sniff. Oh! A revelation. Aha! Come here. I like how we just do what he says, and we're like, okay, sure, that sounds fine. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Why, yes. Yes, I can. It smells terrible. Drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. I feel like this is not a good plan. Oh, hey, our energy got restored. I've never noticed that before. <laughs> and now we take a little forest trip while slowly gagging. Because apparently that stuff tastes terrible based on your character's reaction. <laughs> Look, the trees. There's trees everywhere. Uh, pine trees, no less. With very, very, very small root systems. <laughs> All the pine trees. Well, that was quite the trip. You've gained the power of forest magic. You can now decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Does that count as having met the wizard? Does that... Have we officially met him now? Yes, we have. Okay. Well, that worked out great. Oh, a squirrel just ran in that tree. Looking for forage on our way to town now. So yeah, I haven't heard that song for a long time, by the way. Peaches. Came out in like 1995. And I probably haven't heard it since 1996 until this last week. And then it was on Sirius uh, Radio Pop Rocks channel. And I was like, wow, I haven't heard that song in forever. Ooh, by gosh and golly, I will drink that Joja Cola. A maple seed. That's not exciting. <laughs> uh, at least we found some stuff in the garbage. Uh-oh. Hi. Hi, Gus. Gus did not like that. Uh, either of those things. But that's okay, because he was still at zero anyway, so... It's whatever. <laughs> Have a maple seed, Gus. I hope you enjoyed the maple seed that I gave you. <laughs> <laughs> that did not go according to plan. <laughs> oh, gracious. It's it's all good. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Spring forage bundle. Okay. So one one forage, two forage, three forage, and oh, it's a good thing we brought these onions. Four forage. Bundle completed. Yes! Look at that. We're gonna look at these other bundles in a second. Spring seeds, very nice. Alright, so. Okay, regular construction bundle looks like. Fall forage is normal. Summer is normal. Winter is normal. Exotic foraging bundle. Uh, I think that's a normal one, isn't it? All right, so we need some tree taps uh, as soon as possible. Get some sap going. I don't think we know how to make the tree tap yet, though, so that's kind of a hmm moment. Uh, the other stuff, though, it shouldn't be too. If we get the mushroom cave, we have access to three of those ingredients. 
cave carrots are easy to find. Uh, and uh, the uh, the other three things from the trees here, uh, this stuff is easy as soon as we uh, know how to make a tree tap. So, hey, not too bad. All right, cool. And we've unlocked even more things. Now, it's really the fishing one that I'm going to like not remember what's in it. And honestly, of them all, as much as I like getting the fishing one done, it's probably the least useful. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. All right, let's drop off that. And we do need one of each. Okay. A brewer bundle. Oh, well, this is fun. All right. Meat is from honey, wine, juice, green tea, and pale ale. Uh, green tea shouldn't be too bad as long as we become friends with Carolyn. Uh, the problem is, is that one of her favorite things is green tea. And the other one's like fish tacos or something. And neither of which is all that easy to make. The garden bundle. Oh, good. And we are growing some of these flowers so we can get that done. Fall crops is normal. Summer crops, normal. Ooh, quality. We're going to need... We're going to need a lot more parsnips. Hmm. Well, we do still have plenty of time before the end of spring to get those five parsnips done. Yeah. Okay, so parsnips are going to be the hold up there. Okay. Because we haven't gotten any gold parsnips yet. We're just going to go buy a bunch. All right, river fish. I think we got some of those. Oh, there's our clam shell that we sold. That's okay. We have a lot of these already, including the eel. Okay. Uh, this one might be a bit of a pain in the butt. That's in the mines, not too bad. That's in the ocean, not too bad. That one, though, is in the desert. And that one is... In the the woods, the the little corner of the woods there, you can't get to it, so you upgrade your axe. So this, this will actually kind of take a while. Okay. Well then. Most interesting. Let's go buy some more parsnips. And maybe some fertilizer to increase the chances. Hello, Abigail. Uh, of, is there even fertilizer available yet? No, dang it. So to try to increase some of our chances here of getting gold parsnips. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of parsnips. Do we have enough energy available to us? to water that many crops? I don't even know. Per day? Like, that just doubled the number of crops that we're trying to water. Do we even bother then selling these parsnips or we just keep them to eat so that we have enough to water? Mm. <laughs> Do we need a second scarecrow? Honestly? I we kind of might need a separate scarecrow. Okay, let's... Let's grab the stuff to make another scarecrow. Oh my goodness. I... <laughs> How much should we get from these? 25? I mean, look, 25 solid. I'm not complaining. But we are not going to plant those right now. Let's put these away. We'll get out our watering can. And we'll get to work. Okay, so first things first, let's... Let's plant these here, since we're already watering there anyway. And then, where do we want our other grouping to be? Maybe, it'd be like right over here? And we have 27 to do. Okay, one, two, and three. Four, five, six. Okay, so if we do both sides of this, then in this nice little pattern, that'll be another 20 spots. Uh, maybe what I should do real fast is go back into town. I just, I, yeah, I just, I don't know. 
if we're even going to have <laughs> enough energy for this. Well, we'll find out. All right, let's see how low we go. Granted, the the breaking of the ground with the hoe at least uh, only takes bonus energy one day, right? Right? It could be worse. Now it's definitely go, going to take a, a two refills to take care of this. Well, yeah, let's go. Let's just go run in to back the town and see if we can grab like seven more, maybe. Uh, if Pierre is still open by the time we get there, at least. Oh, well, I think we only have two more people to meet, too, in town, which is good. And then, uh, doesn't the game ask you to give somebody a gift? I think that's the next, like, thing that it asks of you. So we need seven more at least. Uh, do we... Do we do more than seven? Hmm. Let's just do seven. Let's, let's play it... Let's play it a little cool here, chat. And friends. And commenters. I say chat just out of habit from livestream. Perhaps I should say friends or viewers. We'll try to train myself to do that when doing YouTube videos. Um, Boy, this is really gonna sap down the old energy total. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. Can I not break that spot there? Really? Oh, this is going to throw off my whole... My whole groove! Uh, you've thrown off the broadcaster, streamer, slash recording person's groove. <laughs> Could you not do that? <laughs> okay! That's watered. There's another 30-something parsnips. How many days does parsnips take? It's like four, isn't there something? Six? We can get a lot of parsnips, parsnip crops in, is what I'm trying to say, before the end of uh, the day. All right, so uh, we did need an eel. We needed a shad and a catfish, a bream, uh, a bullhead usually, herring, anchovy, sardine. Okay, let's just let's just look and see. Well, now, where did that go? There it is. Okay, so we want to look over here. Okay, catfish and shad. Yes, very good. We have those. Uh, we should be able to catch a sunfish sometime. That shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Night fishing. We have everything but the walleye, which you cannot catch in the springtime. Oh, we do need a carp. All right. Uh, ocean fish. Let's see. Sardine. Yes. And a tilapia. Oh, so all we need is the sardine. We don't need the herring or the... We don't need the herring or the anchovy, it doesn't look like. Okay, so we do not need the herring or the anchovy. We do need the sunfish. We do need the car, uh, the carp. Okay. I think we can probably either eat or sell all of the rest of those. Fabulous. Well, let's go to the community center and drop off all these fish. This is why we saved the fish in the first place. Uh, was to be able to take them over to the community center uh, as soon as possible. So that's what we're going to do. Then we can use the rest for energy, although we could probably sell the higher quality ones to get a little bit of money. Because as I stated many times already, <laughs> I would really appreciate having that backpack. Okay, so let's... Let's drop off what we can drop off. We have a sunfish. We have a catfish. We have a shad... What else do we need? A tiger trout? That's only summer, isn't it? I think so. Sardine. Uh, the snapper's only during rain, isn't it? I believe. 
If somebody can confirm, I think that's rain. It's a rain fish. Very nice. Uh, lake fish. We have uh, this guy and this guy. There we go. So we didn't we didn't get a bundle done, but we're pretty close. Uh, this again. I think that one is a summer also. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be a bit before we can unlock any of the other things. Let's eat some fi some fish. Let's eat some parsnips here. A couple parsnips. Not too many. Not too many. I don't want to go overboard. Uh, but let's see if we can catch a largemouth bass. There's no guarantee of that, obviously. But, you know, perhaps. Okay, who have I not met? Who have we not talked to? Pam and Harvey. Hmm. Well, Pam's easy enough. Harvey, though... Hmm. I heard Lewis showed you around the community center. It would be great if you could fix it up. Well, why don't you fix it up? It's a broken down building. You're the building person. Maru helps me out in the lab. She's a good kid. Oh, okay. It is always nice to have helpers. Let's fish. Okay. Uh, I did get a couple mentions and comments, too, that you, you all actually enjoyed watching and having the fishing present. So here we are. I'm just going to leave the whole thing in. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe what I would start to do is, uh, if I was going to be fishing for a while, is to uh, cut out the parts here, like now, where I'm actually catching the fish. And just show you, you know, if I got some treasure chests, like what we got out of the treasure chests and... Uh, that sort of thing, but uh, several comments said, no, please, please continue to show everything. So here we are. That's the plan. I wonder if Sebastian's coming right where I'm standing. <laughs> Probably is. Hello. I got some, some algae. Oh, boy. That's like the best thing you can ever catch. Largemouth bass, please join me in being part of my inventory. Just allow me to catch you. You can show up. I'll take you down to the community center. You can go live in a fish tank. It'd be great. It'd be great. I don't I don't think it wants to, though, friends. I, I really don't. I just don't think that the largemouth bass wants to show up. Oh, goodness. So, definitely needed is money. We, we really need money. First of all, strawberries are coming, which are a hundred each, and they're coming in what, six days, four days, something like that, very quickly. So it's always nice to be able to afford purchasing some strawberries the first year. Instead of having to wait, being forced to wait, we'll book. Oh, and a diamond. Very nice. Uh, yeah, so having to wait would not be ideal for strawberries. Although we don't... I don't need... Maru likes them, though. But I don't need them in the sense of... Um, for any of the bundles. I don't think. However... We should buy at least a couple. Enough to get Maru uh, some hearts with us, if nothing else. So, the problem is, is that I also need a bunch of money for that backpack, which is 2000 We need to upgrade our tools, which takes quite a bit of money. And of course, the best tool you can upgrade is your watering can. So by the end of spring, we need to be hitting enough money to at least upgrade the watering can if nothing else uh, ideally we'll be able to get that done along with the backpack and some strawberries I mean that's asking a lot of myself that is several thousand dollars and we have 400 <laughs> uh, so you know we'll see how that goes I am very glad, though, that uh, the game... Well, hello there. That the game wanted... 
golden parsnips and not golden cauliflower. Or golden beans or some other strange thing. Golden beans would really have put a crimp in our our springtime plants. <laughs> There's not much that could have been done there at this point. It is nice to be growing the flowers though as well. We are growing the flowers. Should be able to grab those and get them in there pretty easily. Yeah, so some of the remix bun the remix bundles I think are really fun. Because you just don't know what you're going to end up with. And uh, I enjoy that. I don't know how doable these are or not. So <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Ooh, very good. Alright. Perhaps the last cast of the day. Maybe we can sneak in one more after this. But we still have to walk all the way back to the house. So maybe we won't. Oh, that is a treasure chest. Kind of lost out on having a really high quality fish there for that treasure chest, but I'm hoping the treasure chest is useful. Oh, a geode. Yeah, let's just toss this and we'll keep the geode. Alright, cool. Back to the house. I was just thinking, oh, it's such a long walk back because I was thinking, oh, you have to go all the way through town and then through the bus stop and everything. And then I remembered, no, you can just go this way, through the mountain path. <laughs> I'm glad I remembered. Otherwise, I would have gone the long way, and then you all would have laughed at me in the comments. And, uh, you know, deservedly so. Deservedly so. I think that that would definitely be an instance where <laughs> that would be merited. Uh, is there anything else that we don't need? And Do we need the chubs for anything? Uh, I don't remember. Let's look. No, don't see one there. Nope. No. 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 We, didn't, we don't need chubs at all? Well then. And by all means, we're going to sell those. Okay, let's put some of these away. Put that away, put that away. We can grab another couple of things, like this high-quality bream we can sell. Chubs, though, oh, you know, 35 energy, but money, but energy. Ooh, <laughs> now, we're, now we're starting to have some debating. All right, sell those things. Gunther can tell us more about that diamond. Well, well, well. That sounds great. Uh, let's leave that there so we can make sure we remember to take it to the community center. You know? This flounder is good energy. Okay, so let's sell the anchovy. The bream. We'll leave those three for energy purposes. Instead of for monetary gain. And at 12.30 a.m. on day 8 of Stardew Valley, it is time to go to sleep. Uh, we will look and see what we have gained, if anything, overnight, and then it will be time to end this episode. End our time together. A thousand dollars for fishing. Well, those bullheads really pulled in the cash. Look at that. 112. That's pretty solid. Yeah, I like it. A chub wasn't worth, you know... A little bit either. The 75 is pretty good. 93 for that other uh, silver bullhead. Bullheads pulling in the money. All right. I like it. $1,000. Well, goodness and golly, one more day of that and we've got our backpack already. But if we are to get to that point, it will not be on this episode. We'll have to be on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. As I've said earlier, I have been your host, Hillhome. You have been amazing for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care, friends.